Hello everybody, this is Abed from Kinova. In today's video, we are going to cover the ROS2 Cortex Vision, which allows us to access the streams of the camera integrated on the Gen3 robot. And by that, I mean the RGB and the depth streams. And then we can visualize that in the Orvis scene. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first, we are going to head to the ROS2 Cortex repo available on GitHub. Once there, we're gonna head to the vision section and here you can find the link for the ROS2 Cortex vision repo. And over here, we are going to follow the readme instructions. So uh, first, I assume that you have ROS2 Humble on Ubuntu 22. And actually the system was tested with the suspects. So let's start by installing the needed dependencies. In my case, I already have everything. Then we are going to create our workspace. Once there, we are going to clone our repo. And finally, we are going to install any missing dependency using rosdep. And finally, we will build our workspace. It's gonna take a bit of time, so please be patient. Okay, we have a small warning. It's not a big deal. The package has been built. Now we need to source our workspace and I encourage you to put that in the bash RC instead of sourcing each time. So we're gonna source, actually I included the line here. So we're gonna copy paste. All right. Now we're gonna start a new terminal And over here, we are going to simply launch this file called kinovavision.launch.py. And as you can see here, you have the depth loaded um, and the stream from the color started. Also, the stream from the depth has started as well. So everything is working well. And of course, like, uh, make sure you are connected to the robot. I forgot to mention this. Um, but right now, I'm connected to the robotic arm with the integrated camera with a, uh, using an Ethernet cable. Now, once we do that, right now, we are accessing the streams in ROS but we need to visualize this in Arvis. So uh, using this command in here, we can start Arvis with a specific configuration file that was previously saved and prepared for you to visualize the um, uh, different streams uh, with the different topics. So we're gonna use that. Okay, um, one thing you need to uh, make sure of is to give the correct path for the Orvis configuration file. In this case, I assumed that we are already in the workspace. So when you open uh, the new terminal, 
make sure um, to go back to the workspace which is in here once there you can use the command because specifying the right path to the office configuration file is important otherwise you won't see anything so as you can see this is the rgb stream you can uh, see right now the view um, uh, we have a table and the floor and if i move the robot right now which is next to me you can see the rest of the scene and at the same time you can see the depth stream above with the different uh, colors on a grayscale that match the proximity to the camera so let's go back to this view now uh, in addition to the depth and the color streams we have also um, the ability to create a 3d point cloud that is colored with the rgb um, data but right now we don't have it available because we didn't use the right arguments while starting the launch file so let's do that. So I'm going to stop it. And as mentioned in here, we have multiple um, uh, arguments that we can use along with the launch file. Um, uh, one of them is for example, launch depth, you can specify it as false if you just want the RGB data. Um, another thing is to specify the device um, IP. In this case, uh, you can leave it to the default value um, and this will work um, because we have already included the IP address of the integrated camera. Also, you can specify um, uh, some uh, the the paths to uh, some calibration files um, in this case we have used the uh, default information but feel free if you want um, to play around with these values um, in here like uh, the focal distance um, uh, the uh, matrices for the camera uh, you can play around with these um, if needed and uh, here you have some information regarding the topics that are being streamed um, uh, from the color, from the depth. Um, uh, and also you have like uh, topics that are streaming the uh, transformation. For example, uh, you have the transformation between the camera link and the, uh, the, uh, and the uh, part of the camera that is streaming the rgb because actually when i say camera i mean you have two cameras included in the uh, on the gen 3 uh, you have one for the rgb and the other one for the depth so uh, you can uh, access the static transformation from the camera link to the um, uh, color camera frame and also from the camera link to the depth camera frame. And finally, in order to combine these two streams and construct a uh, 3D point cloud with the RGB colors data, um, uh, we have to make sure to install uh, the following package, okay? In my case, I believe it was already installed, but let's try it. So, Actually, we can use this, yeah. And yes, it was already installed. But this package is really important to do this processing and combining the depth and the color uh, streams to create what we, what we have mentioned before as the 3D point cloud with all the colors. 
So once you have this ROS package installed, which is essential, you can start the launch file that we have previously started, but this time we added uh, the depth registration argument by setting it to true. And this will allow this package, this ROS package, um, to process the two streams and combine them to give, to give us the 3D point cloud result. So once we launch it, make sure that your streams have started and then make sure you are on the right directory or give uh, the absolute path to the Arvis configuration file. Now, once there, so uh, in Arvis, in the uh, left side panel, you can see the different topics that you are trying to visualize. So you can see the uh, color stream, you can also see the depth stream, and you can see the point clouds topic. So uh, also you can see the different parameters that you can tweak for each topic. For instance, you can change the reliability policy. Here it is set to best effort and it's recommended to keep it that way. You can change the style of the points uh, that are displayed in the cloud. You can change it to sphere, box, etc. Um, and you can change the size of, the, uh, of each point, the transparency using the alpha parameter. And right now you cannot change anything or you cannot visualize the point cloud because obviously I disabled it. But I will show it to you uh, in a moment. So just let me add a, an additional topic, which is the TF transformation, which will allow us, which will allow us to see the transformation of the camera link. This is the interesting frame that we are looking for. So this will represent the camera on top of the Gen 3. And right now the Gen 3 is pointing, its end effector is pointing towards the table and the floor, so downward. So we have to rotate the view that way, such that the x-axis will be pointing downward. And this way we can understand the perspective of the camera when we visualize the point clouds. So uh, as you can see, um, here the camera is pointing towards the uh, table and part of it um, uh, can show the uh, floor so these two things are at different elevations uh, so if we scroll a bit in here we can see the different elevations from the perspective of the camera so uh, it is here is the table, here is the floor at different elevations, and you can see also the colors as well. Um, so it's going on and off because of the uh, limited computational power, but if you have, if you can afford more resources, um, uh, you will have a smoother experience. So I will try to place an object on the table to show you if it can be detected, for example, this uh, bottle of water. Let's see if we can detect that. So you can see that you have the bottle detected, showing a bit of protrusions as well, as you can see. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, so I hope you uh, like this video and thank you very much for watching.